What's going on? Telephony Kicks coming back with another video. Today I wanted to get into the off-white, off-white Air Jordan 1 Canaro, Canary Yellow. This is a rumor to drop. From one of my uh, individuals uh, commented on my page, mentioned that this particular pair was rumored uh, years back to release. So I wanted to get into a brief conversation and talk about when actually, what year was these made? Were these sitting in the warehouse? Have they, Nike, been sitting on these particular pairs for a while and just didn't release this pair? What's your thoughts on these, guys? I actually think, you know, with the, the off-white actually dying down, rest in first, I want to say, rest in peace to Virgil. I mean, he's definitely, to me, uh, the biggest, the biggest, uh, sneaker collaborator created uh you know all the off-white brand with nike um he probably to me is the best collaborator i've seen and i experienced i was there from the start and unfortunately to the tragic end of his life uh, from you know reading articles as everyone else is where the person has made an impact on the game uh years back I think off-white at this point, uh, you know, there's only certain shoes in off-white brand that holds the weight. I don't see this shoe holding the weight, but this shoe will sell out because a lot of others that missed, you know, the original uh, off-white pack, the 10 pack, will actually still buy these. Um, to be a part of that off-white culture. Yes, they will still have a resale value, but the value will not be near the Chicago's or the UNC's. Um, you know, the, the, the white-on-white pair that he has, that Virgil has. Uh, you have to remember, too, that these pairs will not be signed, right? Virgil wrote his comments on the side of the outsole. So you have to remember, there's several factors why the shoe would never value like the other ones, but that's fine. It's still an off-white. Um, so potentially wondering if they do make this particular shoe, how many pairs will they release? Will this be another 10,000 pair release? You know, 20,000 pairs. One thing I've learned about this particular culture right now that's going on is that, yes, they're making, making it super hard for you to get a pair of high-end uh, sneakers that are releasing that everybody wants. Because of that, it makes it potentially harder because now you have thousands and thousands of uh, resellers and collectors trying to get those pairs. So it's much harder actually now to get the, co the big collaborator shoes than ever. Although the GRs are sitting and much easier to purchase, it's a proven fact now that no one wants TRs. They only want high release, high end special shoes. So that's what's going on today. Let's take a look at the off white canaries. I think they are really nice, clean. My, my only curiosity is what year were these made? What year were they made? that makes sense i think these are dope like a nice mustard color to me and they call it canary but it looks like looks like a mustard color to me i think they're dope i think they're fire let me know your thoughts are you a fan of these will you go out and purchase a pair of these or uh, in the nike app and try to win these i'm definitely going to try to win them for retail uh, that's the whole goal. I'm, I'm more focused on retail. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm going to probably take a lot of losses. The Nigel Sylvester was very hard to, to win. Um, but I'm not complaining. Um, at the foot sites, they, they gave me every Kobe 
um, possibly. So I'm not. I can't win them all. You can't win them all. That's just no way impossible. Uh, so I'm just gonna move on. And uh, if these are released, I'm certainly gonna enter the raffle to try to win them. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate everyone that leave comments on my page. Please subscribe to my channel. Please press the like button. Guys, I get a ton of views, but no likes. Uh, please press the like button. Please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Telephony Kicks coming back with another video. Bye.